Hi, my name is Cheryl. I would like to show you my special delivery photo folio. From this point on, I'm probably going to call it a mini album, even though it is 11 inches tall by 9 inches wide. I used the Paper Phenomenon's video tutorial for her Photo Folio 3 to make this mini album. I decorated it differently than she did because I made it for a guy who that I work with that had to retire because he is too sick to work. We work for the post office so I decided to pick Poetic Postage by the Paper Studio. I felt that it was a little fitting considering where we work. Here on the cover I used a regular envelope. I addressed it just like I would any other envelope except for I didn't add his address. Not quite sure what it is. The stamp here, I found the image online and I thought it was perfect. There were a few others that I found and I printed them out myself and I aged both of these with antique linen and vintage photo distress inks. On the inside here, there are quite a few pockets. It would be why I picked this particular photo folio. I also picked it because it is the least confusing. It's very simple. There aren't a lot of flips and folds and turn this way and turn that way and do I pull this up or will it tear or whatnot. I just thought it was the easiest one for somebody who has never used a mini album. Right here I used the Record It Lost and Found tags, or Record It cards. Um, it was a, a, from another project from Paper Phenomenon. These were some of the leftovers that I used. Each of these cards is from that particular set. These are A4 standard shipping tags. And on them I stamp some images to make it look like a postcard. This happens to be a stamp from work itself. Try not to show faces of my coworkers. But yes, there are pictures on the other side, and this is their own personal sentiment on the other side. I just, I really like the way that came out. Um, that way it's almost like getting a, a, a card from each, in, each individual coworker, but at the same time it's all in one spot. These are some of those other stamps that I made. Over here, these are policy envelopes that were made with craft card stock. Not a huge fan of how long they are. I would make them shorter and taller. <clears throat> so that way you could easily get to what's inside. Um, this is going to a guy and his fingers are a lot thicker than mine, I'm sure. And it's going to be hard to get inside and to pull whatever's inside out. Because these lost and found cards were not long enough to cover the whole page, I used EK Success Round Binding Edge to fill the rest of the space. I thought it turned out pretty good. Over here I like the, the big pocket. But when you turn and you get this big pocket, not a huge fan. If I push all of these, push these all the way down, they are, they get lost. And considering they are four and a quarter by five and a half, they're pretty big. Um, it's almost a full size four by six. And they shouldn't get lost, so I, I would break up this page the next time. Hindsight's 20 20. Now I know. 
but I added a few pictures of our workplace just in case he forgets um, what it looks like. Some of it's a little dreary, some of it's a little busy, but uh, it is where we work and I happen to like it there. On this page, awesome page, lots of pockets, lots of place, places to stick tags. Uh, she designed it to where this top pocket would reach all the way down here. Not a fan. I want all my tags to be the same size. Um, for some people it might work. For me, not so much. I wanted each tag to be identical in size so I knew what size photo to print. Next time, you know, hindsight's 2020. Over here, uh, a few more few more of those lost and found cards and I stamped it with this American Crafts ABC Ruthie to say retired on this side I added what looks like actual postcards so that each individual could add their sentiment and, and, and these are, are for the employees that wanted a group photo of two or more just made it a little bit more convenient each one of these has one employee on it I did somewhat separate it this one says birds of a feather and I put it here because all of these are mail handlers which is the job that the recipient held and when you turn it these are all mail processors which is the job that I hold I, I process the mail and, and get it into order for the mail carriers and this is a bunch of supervisors. It's pretty much management on this page. And here, because there are so many mail processors, it's more of those. My policy envelopes are empty for the most part, except for one. I wanted to keep it that way in case he, ha he receives more cards or maybe he wants to keep his old time card or his badge he can stick it in there nice big pocket but easy access so I definitely like this the policy envelopes and the mini album itself photo folio is held closed with magnets they are basic gray magnets the large ones. The back side. I left it blank. I'm going to add a little note saying that it was created by me, or crafted by me anyway. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. This is my first video that I've ever done. Quite nervous. My third take. Um, not quite sure what else to say, so I'm just going to... Oh, let me show you the rest of the stuff that I, that I use. Stamp abilities, clean rubber stamps, vintage icons, Tim Holtz. I use the finger. Clean stamp, grunge surf. Yeah, that, I guess that didn't sound good. <laughs> the Hampton Art Curtain Call 3. Art Warehouse Postmarks Graphic 45 Ladies Diary I inked everything with black soot distress ink I used I started out using the 12 by 12 
basil cardstock until I ran out and I didn't have any choice but to switch and I switched to Recollections black cardstock and the craft cardstock. Um, and when I made that small little stamp there, I used Fisker's Paper Edgers Mini Pinking Shears. Um, and for the cream cardstock that I had, I used the Nina Paper Classic Natural Whites. If you have any questions, post your comments. Thanks.